it is strongly recommended that you acquire 12 volt AC DC adapters that will be used for lab assignments 4, 5, and 6. Search around the house for discarded electronics, you may find a few of them. If you don't have the type of connector adapter for a round jack to a pair of split bare wires, and have to do wire stripping of old ADDC adapters, do a simple tagging on the wire as shown. Students had their op amp burnt live on Zoom because they were confident of their memories of wire polarities, even though all the wires had the same color. If you use 9 volt batteries, be sure they are fresh and capable of delivering currents of at least 100 milliamp. Many old smoke detectors have 9 volt batteries that still have 9 volt, but with currents only in the milliamps. To the original rectifier circuit, a capacitor is added parallelly with the bridge LED. That's all should be needed. However, it is slightly more involved because the AD2 signal generator does not have high enough voltage for the circuit. Hence, what is needed is an amplifier. Shown here is an amplifier that gives an output 10 times larger than the input. When testing the circuit with the AD2, put a maximum limit of say, 0.95 volt or so on the AD2 signal generator. Then use the amplitude slider to increase slowly while keeping an eye on the LEDs so that they are not too bright and at risk being burnt. Then adjust the maximum limit to the level you are most comfortable with, and save this configuration for all the subsequent measurements. Watch the Lab Assignment 2 Lab Guide video, Part A, Step 5 to get the ideas what should be expected in the following experimentation. Exact measurement parameters are not necessary. It is important to understand what effects that we are looking for, and you have the freedom to design, adjust such that your demonstration can convince a technical observer the effects of interest, which is ACDC rectification. Both capacitance and frequency are important for a smooth, time-constant DC output from sinusoidal input. It is their product, C times F that matters. Hence, a combination of, say 10 microfarad with 2.8 kHz, is equivalent with 470 microfarad and 60 Hz, or 100 microfarad and 280 Hz. There is no need for extensive writing in the report. Just a description of figures and videos, and a claim would be sufficient. For example, with a video and a graph of AD2 scope, you can make a statement such as, the scope trace of the voltage across the bridge LED shows that it is practically constant in time to within less than 5%, etc. Given this time of the year, the circuit above uses the color scheme of spring break.